So what we've got so far? Well, we've got down to this then. We changed that into a system of three equations. The matrix of coefficients of that system was diagonalized. And then a substitution was carried out to form this system of equations. Now just to solve these three. And they're straightforward. Taking the first one. W1 dash plus W2 equals negative a quarter x squared. That's almost exact. An integrating factor would sort that out. The integrating factor would be e to the integral of just 1 dx. That's e to the x. So multiplying every term by e to the x turns this into an exact derivative. It's exactly the derivative of e to the x w, that's meant to be a 1, w1. And that would equal negative 1 quarter x squared e to the x. So that e to the x w1 will be, take the negative a quarter out, the integral of x squared e to the x dx. Integration by parts. Differentiate that one and integrate that one. But I'll have to go through the process twice. So it's a bit tedious. Speed it up. So I'll leave that alone and integrate that nice and easy. Minus differentiate that and carry that through. That's the first step. Just leave it like this just now, I think. x squared e to the x, take this 2 out, minus 2 times of that integral. So once more, it'll be differentiate, integrate. So leave that, integrate, minus the integral of, now differentiate it down to 1, e to the x, dx. So that's negative 1 quarter of x squared e to the x, minus 2x e to the x, plus 2 e to the x. And then separate outside, I'll just put c1. There's no point in having the constant here getting affected by these various numbers when it's just a constant which will be evaluated at some later point. So just tidy it up a bit. So that's negative a quarter x squared e to the x plus a half x e to the x minus a half e to the x plus c1. Divide by e to the x, which can never be zero. And you've got w1 equals negative a quarter x squared plus a half x, oops, minus a half plus c1, and that will be e to the negative x. There's the first one. So I'll replace it up here. Second one then. Exactly the same as the first one. Not quite parallel because the coefficients are going to be messed up with this integrating factor here. So, integrating factor in this case will be e to the integral of 2dx. That's e to the 2x. Remember, of course, the constant would have appeared here, would have come out as a factor, and then multiplying them all by that same factor, that factor would just disappear anyway. So that means that applying this to this part here will make it into exactly the derivative of e to the 2x w2. So that will be the same as 1 fifth of x squared e to the 2x. So e to the 2x w2 will be 1 fifth of the integral of x squared e to the 2x dx. And that's just the same as before. Apart from these 2s, when you integrate this term, there'll be lots of dividing by 2. So you have to be careful with your coefficients here. But I'll go through it anyway, very quickly. So that'll be differentiate, integrate. So leave it alone. Integrate, so that'll be over 2. Minus, now differentiate, carry it through. So that's a fifth of a half x squared e to the 2x. That cancels out, so it'll just be minus. Differentiate, integrate. The two cancels, so that'll be when you, oops, that's next. When you integrate, e to the 2x over 2, minus the integral of 1 times e to the 2x over 2. So that will be 1 fifth of a half x squared e to the 2x, minus a half x e to the 2x, then minus minus plus e to the 2x divided by another 2, which will be a quarter e to the 2x, and eventually this constant, freed from all its different multiplications, will just produce some constant yet to be evaluated, which I'll we'll call c2. And without having to rewrite that, I'll just go straight in for w2 will be dividing everything by e to the 2x, would be one tenth of x squared minus one tenth of x plus a twentieth plus c2 e to the negative 2x upon dividing by e to the 2x. And the last one w3 dash was 3w3 plus 1. 20th of an a of x. Same as before. W3 dash minus 3w3 is 1 20th of x. Integrating factor of e to the integral of negative 3x. So that'd be e to the negative 3dx. That's e to the negative 3x. So that makes that into an exact derivative of e to the negative 3x w3 when you multiply all the terms by e to the negative 3x. is 1 20th x e to the negative 3x. So e to the negative 3 w3 will be 1 20th of the integral of, of course that was x squared. I just lost that when I was rubbing that part out. e to the negative 3x dx. 
So as before, differentiate that part, integrate that part for the integration of my parts. But 20 is off, we'll leave that, integrate that, so it's divided by negative 3, minus differentiate that, and carry that forward, need to negative 3x over negative 3. So that's 1 20th of, I might take time just to rewrite this, so we'll get lost with all the fractions in it, negative a third x squared e to negative 3x, plus 1, th plus 2 thirds of the x e to the negative 3x dx. That's a bit better, so 1 20th of, negative a third x squared e to negative 3x, plus 2 thirds of, differentiate, integrate, x e to the negative 3x over negative 3, minus 1 times, carry it forward over negative 3, so that's 1 20th of, negative a third x squared e to negative 3x. This term's fine, so minus 2 ninths x e to negative 3x. Let's be careful with this little bit here. This part here is going to be, forget that negative, this part's going to be e to negative 3 divided by 9, so that's minus a ninth times 2 thirds. So minus 1 ninth times that is minus 2 over 27 e to negative 3x. Finally, I'll put plus c3. So that w3 will be dividing by e to the negative 3 and sorting out the fractions will be negative a 60th of x squared, since that's cancelled out, minus, now that cancels down to a 10, making that a 90th of x, those 2's cancel for a 10, so minus 1 over 270 plus c3 e to the, dividing by e to the negative 3x, I've lost my x's here as well, it's getting sloppy because there's so much of it, e to the negative, uh, sorry, e to the 3x. Now the last step is to take this set of W's and change them back into the original Z's which solves that system. Or in the case of this one, since it was an extra step if you like, then gives the first one of those as a solution to that particular third order equation.